Welcome to the TheAficionatoLifestyle.tv. I'm Eben Miller, and I'd like to thank you for spending some time here with me. During our journey together, we're going to talk about the many vices of the aficionado lifestyle. To name a few, we're going to look at wonderful wines and whiskeys, to great chocolates, and excellent cuisines, and how the cigar will help enhance all of them. So let's travel down that road together, and we'll discover the aficionado inside of you. So one of the questions I get asked quite regularly as an aficionado is when dealing with cigars, is what is the anatomy of a cigar? The basics of a cigar, um, this is a basic uh, 95 point Presidente Maduro. What makes up a cigar? What's the anatomy of a cigar? Well, first, there is the foot which is the end that you will, you will light. And then there is the cap, which you will either snip or nibble in order to get to the, get to the binder, in order to then draw through, puree through, and get your smoke through the cigar. The different points that a cigar has, depending on uh, who you read or who you are listening to, will, uh, from cigar aficionado to Sherman, a lot of the different cigar uh, rating systems out there are going to be different. I will walk through different rating systems over our course together. And really what it comes down to is you finding out specifically what kind of cigar you want. Now just this shape is your normal basic. It's a good hour, maybe an hour and ten minute smoke. Good for on the golf course. And different shapes and sizes will come into play. We'll actually take a, 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 a trip here to a local cigar shop and we'll look at a lot of different shapes and sizes just to kind of give you a blending around of all the different ones that we're going to be looking at over the course. Then we're going to find out very specific cigars that we like and that we're going to then take into our life and start enjoying with wine, chocolates, with the cuisines that you're going to have, dinner, out to out to restaurants. So one of the things you come across once you know the cat versus the foot is um, a machine-made cigar versus a hand-rolled cigar. Majority of uh, cigars out there in the marketplace are machine-made. Only about four percent of cigars, premium cigars, any cigar out there, is actually handmade or hand-rolled. That means that the binder and the inside is entirely rolled by a Cuban master roller or a master roller from somewhere in the world. When it is made and the final wrapper is put on, it's where all the taste comes from. Uh, it is folded over on the cap, uh, where if a machine-made cigar, most of them have uh, a cap that's just put on with a, uh, with a light vegetable adhesive that most cigars are put together with. This cigar right here is a premium cigar, and so you can either nibble the cap or cut it. Most people will cut it. And what we'll do in our one of our next assignments is I'll show you the correct way to either cut, punch, or poke a cigar and uh, which styles of cigars each one of those goes through. So thank you for coming along with the anatomy of a cigar and uh, look forward to titillizing your next cigar uh, the correct way now that you know which end to smoke. Thank you for coming along on today's show. Feel free to share this video with any friends and or family. And we welcome any comments that you might have on today's show or any ideas that we might have for upcoming shows. And until we meet again, I'm Eben Miller.